dead box with their ashes. I could have done it better. You should talk. Who hey, me? Father Doyle, the service, nothing on underneath. You didn't have any black panties. <laughs> he was staring right up your dress. You must have known. I was thinking about Mum. Our mother's funeral, you showing off your twat, the priest with a heart on, and no one except us turning off. Oh. 
always expensive. Plus, what do you know? You don't know me. At least I don't live off men. What do you mean? I've never taken money from a man for sex. No, no. No, she's been picking on the way that I've dressed since I arrived. Looking at me like I'm a slut or something. I never took a penny. Like mum. That's what you hate about her. She never took a penny. But look how she ended up. Deserted by them. Oh my god, she had memories. She had a good time. Harry Wells loved her. He bought her this house. He was a bastard. But yeah, mum always picked them, didn't she? She had no morals. But that's like you. No willpower. I did this house. I was the one that looked after her. I gave up a private life. Just look after her. Because you love playing the martyr. Why didn't you come and look after her then? Why didn't you clean up the shit? Because you said you were looking after her. Plus, I have no morals, do I? You just don't get it, do you? She hurt so many people. She didn't hurt me. Because you were the one she kept. Kindred spirits, eh? I cringed in my bed at night when I'd hear the knocking on the flywire screen door, the sound of the footsteps coming down the hallway, the smell of her cheap perfume, and then the fake laughter of all the men. But yeah, then you'll hear Mum's voice. Well, not Mum's voice, of course. The 14-year-old girl's voice. Hi, Mr. Gorgeous. I rush into her bedroom the next morning. I jump on the sheets and she'd be there. And she'd be happy and content. Talking about the new one, like he was the real one, the new prince. And then we giggle and laugh. How could you see it that way? I don't know. I just did. Didn't you ever feel you wanted a father? He'd gone. No, I mean, one that could be a father to you. Christ, I don't know. I'm always said that men and women can't live together. You'll end up like her. Oh, good. Father must have been an alien. Yeah, well, my father's gone to his own planet, the dark side.